You talk about real grassroots. Nowhere do you have to actually climb on the stage. I love it. And that's how you can just see the incredible humanity that is here. And I want to salute every single man, woman, and child that have traveled here from all over jolly old England and the rest of the world. I salute you! This is so historic, what is happening right now. And I want to start getting into that here in just a moment. But first off, I want to point out there are thousands of people in here right now, but they are turning away thousands of others who couldn't get parking and who they're not letting in. So let it be known that the BBC will probably report there were five people here. But that's why they're discredited. That's why the power structure is falling apart. I actually had the BBC, of like six interviews I've done with them, one of the ladies said, so you say there's a meeting going on here. So you claim there's something called the Bilderberg Group. Are you insane? That's how stupid they think their viewers are. But the truth is, they're losing all their viewers because people are awake to the globalists and their lying propaganda organs. <laughs> they're arrogant. They are so used to a population that will buy anything they're told that they are destroying their own credibility more and more. There is no doubt that trillions of dollars a month worldwide are stolen from the people of the West to finance the globalist takeover of the planet. And what's so dangerous about it is the globalists have all written books, all made statements about what their plan is for the new world order. Their plan is worldwide poverty and forced population reduction. They want to bankrupt Mate, every family in the world show? except for a few That's dozen you families you so they can control me. you with their fiat currency and bring in total technocratic world slavery. And the reason there are so many people here today and millions watching in the real free press across the world is because humanity has figured out that we're in deep trouble and that these dangerous parasites have ill will towards us. It's not that they don't care about us. They care about killing us. They want the world for themselves. They've stolen the governments. They've stolen the money. They've stolen the cultures. They've stolen almost everything. And now they want us out of the way so they can move forward into the future with all the technology that humankind developed. They take the ideas and the energy of you, the creative, and they use it against you. And I'm here to tell you how to stop them. Fight them with information. Fight them with truth. Fight them with art. And never give up and realize that we are. and realize that we are in a war, that they are attacking us, that they are attacking our families, that they are attacking our nations, that they are attacking our cultures. They want us absolutely neutralized so they can take over this planet, and I'm going to break that down today. But first off, I want to say this. The globalists absolutely are angry today to know the shadow government, the shadow government and the... the the periscope of their subterranean world tyranny that has popped up just a few hundred yards away from us, the Bilderberg Group, they have fought for 60 years to maintain their secrecy, and they have threatened their reporters and, and their media institutions all over the world that they would be fired if they ever even wrote the words Bilderberg. And now all of us together and the real media have forced this out in the open. And I'm here to tell you without a shadow of a doubt, today is the true beginning of the fall of the Bilderberg Group. Today, today is just the beginning. Today is just the beginning of the fall of the dinosaur deception media. And today can truly be marked as one of the key points on the map of history of when humanity rose up and the 
sleeping giant prepared to defeat the globalists. <laughs> no one can deny, and you know it in your gut, you know it in your spirit, you know it in your mind, that this is a historical day. And for all of you that ran the gauntlet to get here and spent money you didn't have and slept in ditches, to all of you, you are part of history, and I salute you. <laughs> Inside there now are the sons and daughters and the children of some of the most evil people this world has ever seen, a true synthesis of evil. But out here is a true synthesis of free humanity facing them. And they are watching us now on the live video streams that are at InfoWars.com and other sites. They are, they are, they are watching the streams at DavidIke.com and WeAreChange.org. They are watching those streams and they will be watching these videos next week and next month because they know that this signifies the beginning of the end of their tyranny. The free people of Earth, unified against the transhumanist globalists, will shake off these lilipollies like the small demonic creatures they are. <laughs> so make no mistake, they are watching now, and we are watching. And our message to the Bilderberg Group and the global crime syndicate that they, re that they represent is that humanity is awake and staring and aware of your crimes and nothing on earth is going to stop the judgment of justice that is coming down on you now. <laughs> now I'm gonna get into some pretty scary points here in a moment, but it's in facing these terrible truths that we have a chance to turn the tide. We have the initiative, we have the future, we will win if we want to. And I know in my heart and in my mind we will. The question is how tough is it gonna be? But just remember, like ripples in a pond, everything we do here today, everything you do, goes on forever. And that's why it's so important that all of you came here, but it's so important that you realize, many of you do, that you are the resistance, that you are the future that it is you that is going to control your destiny, working with other like minds. And that's why we have to salute people like Westbrook Pegler more than 55 years ago, first reporting on Bilderberg when they didn't even know what the name was. And then Jim Tucker for 36 years, who just died about four and a half weeks ago in his home in Georgia, who, 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 who tirelessly, tirelessly traveled the world and was shot at and arrested and demonize and the media would laugh at him and say this crazy guy is going around saying some group of royalty and banking and 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 the tops of academia are meeting in secret why that's illegal uh that that can't be happening it doesn't exist just four years ago the new york times wrote that i was in chantilly virginia walking around in a hotel grounds like this imagining bilderberg this is why there were helicopters police uh, four-wheelers, uh, Marines, Secret Service aiming MP5 submachine guns at us, and the New York Times thought the American people were such stupid scum that they told them it didn't exist. And by the way, the New York Times is a shadow of its former self, and so are all the other globalist organs, because the people know that they're being lied to thanks to the truth tellers and the trailblazers that came before us. So we salute Jim Tucker. Your work will live on forever. And make no mistake, what we're doing here today will live on forever. The fact that they even have to admit that there are groups above government and that there are special interests. For, for, for those of us that have been awake for a while, that's comically simple. 
But for a lot of people, if they admit that's going on, then they've got to get up off their butts. Then they've got to investigate. Then they've got to find out what's happening with the austerity. They've got to find out how their tax money is going to people that control trillions of dollars and are worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Then they've got to discover from that area, uh, that entrance of the rabbit hole, what comes next. And that's why it's the beginning of the end of these people if we want it. Because they are committed to their program of austerity and world poverty and war and tyranny as a tool of control. And it's their dark, wicked nature. They enjoy it. They've written books about it. They think you're too stupid and won't even read what they've said, what they've done. The White House science czar writes 1,100-page books like EcoScience bragging about spiking your water with sterilants and carcinogens. It's funny to them. They think you're too stupid to even understand it's going on. So if they tell you it doesn't exist, you'll just shut up and go away. But we're not going away. And once you realize that they're playing a mind game, and once you realize it's a hoax, and you go through that, there's no putting the genie of liberty back in the bottle again. It is over for the globalists one way or another. Now, I showed this on my TV slash radio show yesterday when David Icke was in studio with me, and I held up the London Independent from Thursday. And the cover was 40% of people in the UK, 40% will have cancer by 2020. 40% of the people that live here will have cancer by then. They showed the graph and the statistics. It's actually going to be far worse than that. And there's no discussion of why are the pediatric cancers in the U.S., England, and other areas up thousands of percentile points? Why do we lead the world in breast cancer thousands of percentage points uh, above Latin America and other countries? And the list just goes on and on and on. And then you go research what the Rockefellers were into in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. And then you discover all the major university studies and the whole plan that they have been putting cancer viruses. That's why there's hundreds of new bizarre cancers that never existed. That's why, that's why 50 years ago, I've talked to medical doctors, 30 years ago, d doctors would fly across the country to see a child with cancer. Now I can walk out my front door and see children with cancer playing in the playground anytime I go there with their chemotherapy, roach poison injectors hooked up to them, with their parents in sorrow knowing they're going to die and not going to make it. And these are the eugenicists on record. The leadership of Bilderberg are literally putting cancer viruses in your children's vaccines. They are putting hydrofluorosilicic acid, major Harvard studies they have known forever that massively increases cancer, massively increases IQ reduction. And that's because these people are not Nazis. These people made the Nazis. You understand that? The Nazis were just... The Nazis were kind of like in a mafia family, one of the other uh, capos that got in the way. A group they actually told, you're going to be given the power to take over the world and set up a European Union, Adolf, and Britain's going to join you in the peace treaty we have with you. And then we're going to take the world over together. And uh, Edward VIII and all the rest of this, the King of England was an admitted Nazi in Germany when the war started. They double-crossed even the royal family who thought they were going to be the heads of a new uh, fascist, white supremacist order worldwide. That's the incredible information that's mainline history, but you will not see it on the History Channel. And I was here just a few days ago with a European Union uh, member of Parliament, uh, Mr. Batten, and there he was in German quoting the 1938 Nazi German plan for the unified steel uh, agreement and then free trade agreement that would be used to covertly set up a European Union to implode all the sovereignty of the countries that they had not invaded by force and taken over at the end of World War II. The European Union was a plan developed and deployed and given to the Nazis by the robber baron banks that financed him on record to then implode the world economy worldwide, have the German uh, Axis powers come in with the new currency, and then enslave those nations financially to then use social planning as a way through vaccines and other...
had a power outage there, but never fear, the bullhorn is there. Anyways, I'm talking to this European Union member of parliament, and I mentioned to him that the EU was an Axis plan. The EU, the whole plan, 